Hey, what's going on guys? Shane here. PNC Anomaly. And today we're going to talk about how to hold tie pads for basic combos and strategies and just to get a good workout in. So let's take a look. Before you get started, it's proper etiquette just to help your partner out if they have the tie pads on. So have them put them on and then they can put their gloves on or if you have the fancy fight tips gloves, you can already have them on and then put these on. So now that you have the, the tie pads on, what you're going to do to hold them properly is keep your thumb connected to your index finger over top. You don't want to grip it underneath. That's naturally what you're going to want to do, but that's going to put your thumb at a weird angle. You risk injury. So always connect the thumb and index finger and go over top. And then the tightness, I like keeping them nice and loose. Again, it's personal preference. Some people like having the straps nice and tight. That's up to you. You figure out what you like more. So now that we're in position, we're ready to go. Let's talk about how to hold for punches. I'm going to slap Vince's knuckles when he throws the punch. What I don't want to do is jam him up. So when he throws a right hand, I don't want to go here and jam him up halfway. I still want him to get full extension. So he comes to me and I keep my hands up just like they're up in my face, right? Just like I'm standing in my stance because I want a realistic target for him. He's throwing his right hand towards my face and I'm just going to give a little bit of a slap. Slap his knuckles with my forearm to stop that punch from coming in because I don't want my shoulders to be blasting back. I'm going to put too much tension there. We want to stop that punch. We want to give him a realistic target. Okay, so common combo is just a cross hook. So I'm going to have him throw that across hook, boom, boom. I have the hook right in front of my face, very realistic. It's not all the way out here. It's where he'd be aiming for my head. So again, cross hook, boom, boom. Just give him a little bit of a slap. Now we're going to start to work in our kicks. So it's very common that we finish with the opposite side kick. So he went with a right hand, a left hook, and then he's going to go with a right kick after that. His hips are loaded up, and it's perfect for me because you're going to see that his hook puts me in position for the kick. So he throws the right hand, the left hook, and it turns me sideways. When he throws that hook, boom, it rotates my body. So I'm just going to pivot on my rear foot as if I'm throwing a kick. My pads are coming with the tops connected, and I don't want to lean down here like this so that he throws a soccer kick. That's no good. I want him to kick through the target. So what I'm going to do is bring it up towards my, my chest, and I'm just going to lean into the kick when he throws it. Boom, right there. So there's going to be a little bit of an extension with the arms, a little bit of reciprocation, and I'm going to put my body weight behind it. One more time, Vince. Boom. Okay, so that combo there, cross hook kick, is a perfect one. I could also have him kick to the head in that position too. So he throws the same punch setup, a cross hook, but I'm just going to lift one pad a little bit higher for a head kick. So cross hook, and I go here. And then I want to make sure that I move with the kick too, because I don't want to, again, put too much stress on the shoulder. So when he throws that kick, I'm just going to rotate my body and let the kick follow through. Okay, so that's body kicks, head kicks. Let's talk about front push kicks now. So what we're going to do to hold the pads is I'm going to put one at my stomach facing down, and the other one's just going to reinforce, go over top, and that's the one that he's going to kick with. So lead T, rear T, but doesn't matter. When he throws that, he's going to push me back. Yeah, and I'm just going to eat that. And when it lands, I want to tighten on my stomach and exhale. So when he throws it, just so I'm not hurting myself. You got one more? Okay. That same position can be held for a, a knee as well. There's different ways to hold the pads. But if I have him throw, let's say, a, a cross hook rear knee. So we'll, we'll keep that same punch combination. So cross hook. I'm just going to go right down. Or the shuffle lead knee works too. <laughs> so one more time, cross hook. And there we go. So it doesn't matter which side I'm holding it, I'm still reinforced, I'm still safe, and he's still got a nice target. Uh, in kickboxing and MMA, we also throw elbows. Now another way to signify an elbow, I can say it to him, I want an elbow, or I can just show it. So I could go jab cross, he throws that jab cross, I leave this one here, and that I can just let him know ahead of time. If I ever leave it up, that means I want an elbow on that side too, so then it just follows through. And you guys can decide, is it a vertical, is it an up, a down elbow? So again, one, two. Boom, boom, I leave the pad there, that means step in. It can be the same for the opposite side. Cross hook, cross hook, I leave the pad there, that means step in and throw your elbow. Okay, so we got the teeps, we got the knees, the elbows, the punches, mix it all together. Uh, the more you work with someone, the more chemistry you'll have, and then you'll really start to flow with your partner. All right, guys, there you have it. So whether you've invested in a pair of tie pads or you just joined an MMA gym, now you know how to properly hold them. If you have any questions, be sure to tag us on Instagram of you working with a partner, at Shane Faison and... Advance the anomaly. Until then, this is Fight Tips for the Underdogs.